Okay, we're on. All right, so yeah, we have another sticky summer's day, but at least it's I not know. raining for once. It feels like it's bright and cheery, finally. Yep. I wore my shirt that uh, doesn't show any of my summertime sweat yep. that we always match on whenever I wear it. So, you know, I got that going for me today. <laughs> These two, they dress like alike, like all the time. I don't know what's going on with that. I had that shirt in my hand this morning. <laughs> I changed it out. I put this one on because this is a little more fancy. Cool. So, Sarah, how's your summer going? You know, I, um, I really want to enjoy my summer, but not put too much pressure on myself to enjoy our summer like normal life you know if we are going out and having fun great the weather has not been cooperating no. so i'm really trying to not put um obligation and pressure on myself um enjoy the rainy days know that sunny days are coming uh for us to be out with our family um but just taking it one day at a time enjoying being together no, uh right. rob what have you really enjoyed we're in this series on the psalms what have you enjoyed as you've been prepping for sermons uh digging into the Psalms. I, I think the Psalms is just one of those books that's so refreshing to go back to again and again. And I don't think it's accidental that, you know, when sometimes you get a New Testament and then it's Psalms and Proverbs, uh, yeah. because it's like, hey, these are the essential things that you want to go back to. Yeah. So uh, it was your idea, and I think it was a great idea to be preaching through the Psalms, uh, because it's refreshing. and. Mm -hmm. You know, the picture I get in my mind uh, with the way the Psalms shape us would be maybe like the Grand Canyon. You've got this river which has cut this incredibly impressive canyon. And the Psalms like, are, are like that for me. They shape our character, not by reading them once. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like you go back to them and each time you get chiseled or God shapes you or there'll be something that you read which is just either uncomfortable because you know you're out of alignment or something that really draws you to it. And because they're short and they're puffy, you can move through them and it covers just this whole range of emotions. So, you know, the Psalms, it's, it's always a refreshing time to do the Psalms. But so, Stephen, you've got something coming up which is really great. Grief share or processing grief. Uh, yeah. I think this is just really Good timing. Tell us about yeah. that. Uh, and I think coming out of COVID, uh, a lot of us need to process things that have mm -hmm. happened. We couldn't go to funerals. We couldn't mm -hmm. go visit family members. Yeah. Uh, we lost jobs. We may have lost housing and, mm -hmm. and financial stability. Uh, and so mm -hmm. on July 28th, we're going to have an event here at the church to just begin to kind of process some of those things in healthy spiritual ways. What night of the week is uh, it? It's a Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, it's open to anybody. So you don't have to be a Christian necessarily. Invite fa friends, family mm -hmm. members who are going through something. I think it's just going to be a really healthy space to begin to process uh, mm -hmm. and get some tools for how to process something that you didn't have the ability to process well when it was happening. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think that that's going to be really good, but we do want to have some fun this summer. Uh, what do we have going on that's fun, Sarah? Yeah, um, July 28th, Family Day at Fairgra Fair Fairwoods, Fairwoods, yeah. Fairwoods. Campground in Oxbridge. Um, bring a picnic, bring beach stuff, um, and we've just got a nice spot uh, for us to be together, hang out. Uh, enjoy some good weather because it cannot rain forever, right? <laughs> right. So, yeah, come on out for that. Come out for processing the pandemic. Um, it's just really good for us to live all of life together, like the Psalms teach us, the good, the bad. We lay it all before Jesus, and we get to do it together. Yeah, together, yeah. yeah.